Hi, my name is Katie Ochoa. Thank you so much for joining us on the short demonstration on how to set up your room for your exam and our proctoring process. So a few things to keep in mind when you're picking your exam space. You wanna make sure that you're not going to be disrupted during your exam, you have good lighting, and you feel comfortable in your space. I picked my home office because there is a door over there in that corner, and that's just going to ensure that nobody's going to disrupt me while I'm taking my exam. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a short little tour of what the space looks like right now. Now and the few adjustments I'm going to make for my actual test. So if you look over here to this one wall, you can see I have my roommate's desk and a few TV monitors. There's an extra laptop there. If you look at the wall behind me, you're going to see this dresser with a few personal items placed on there. And if you look over here to my third wall, you're going to see it's just a closet and there's nothing else there, so it's nice and blank. Now for your exam, your proctor is going to be looking at your environment and one important point for your environment is you need to make sure you have three blank walls. So a few things that you can do to kind of clear up your space is to remove as many items as you possibly can. You could also use a sheet to cover up any items that are too heavy or that you can't remove from the room. Now if you saw over here there is this desk. I could either make the desk completely blank or get a sheet to cover up those additional screens and some of that clutter. Behind me, I can easily remove those mementos, or again, I can get another sheet and pin it to the wall just to make sure that there is nothing behind me while I'm taking my exam. And my third wall, which is over here to my left, has nothing on it, so it's actually already set up for test day. Now, so that's the other few adjustments that I am going to make for my exam. The other thing you want to keep in mind is exactly where you're going to place your approved reference materials and where you want your phone and your web camera angles to be. So for your exam, there are two cameras that are required, your computer web camera and a cell phone or a tablet. Now your computer web camera is going to be looking at your face while you're typing and answering your questions for your exam, while the cell phone or tablet is going to be about three meters away. So that way the proctor can see your testing environment. Now keep in mind each proctor might have have you make a few adjustments so that way they can see yourself your screen so please be flexible with them on the day of your exam. Another important tip that I would recommend is make sure you have your reference materials on the same side as your phone or tablet. As you can see I have some reference materials on my desk and also on the surface right here so if I were to turn away to if I needed to reference anything the proctor can still see me throughout the whole entire exam. Now, if you give me just a few moments, I'm going to go ahead and make those few adjustments to my room and show you what an approved testing room would look like. Be right back. So I went ahead and made those few adjustments that I talked about earlier in this video. Let me go ahead and show you around the room. Over here, you'll see how I covered up those extra TV screens and computers. Behind me, I have removed all the personal mementos. And over here, I didn't make any adjustments because this wall was already blank. So now my room is set up for my exam, meeting all of your organization's guidelines. Next, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the process really quickly. So on the day of your exam, please connect 15, 20 minutes early by going to take my test live, slash, and you're gonna pick your organization, fill out the form completely, and a proctor will pick you up. In, uh, in through the chat box service. So once you get connected with for our proctor, they're gonna go ahead and send you a link for your mobile phone or tablet and a link for your computer. After that, they're going to ask to see your ID, they're gonna ask for a scan of the room, and they're gonna have you place that phone in the appropriate position. Now keep in mind for your room scan, they will want to check underneath the desk. As you can see from this angle, I don't have anything underneath, but you will take that phone and kind of just scan around the room to make sure that your room is meeting all the requirements. After that, we're gonna go ahead and go over any rules from your organization and make sure that you have the secure browser downloaded properly. Please have it downloaded before you connect with your proctor so we can get you into your exam on time. After that, we'll give you all the credentials to log into the exam system and you'll be able to start your test from there. If you have any additional questions, you can go ahead and go to our FAQ page or you can also email schedule at monitoredu.com. Good luck on your exam. Thank you.